the guy and close the door. You don't have to be scared of me. I can tell we're the same. You still know what's real. The doctor's dead. You know that, right? Dr. Barricade died before he even started working here. What kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on living patients? That's the question. He makes a compelling case. I don't think the doctor is actually dead. I neither do I. Ed, go no. Patients know Dr. Wernicke is dead. When asked me what kind of experiment does a dead doctor perform on living patients, what is Project Wall Rider? That's another useless note, because we just heard him say that. Another useless note, yep. So not that useful. Oh well, he, he, is a, he is a journalist, he does need to make notes as he goes. Yeah, but he doesn't need to read them after he's just had them. <laughs> That's true. Um, oh yeah, I was going to give my history lesson, wasn't I? Oh yeah, what project? Uh, oh, yeah. What, what regular well, Rider. Project Wall Rider is just something out of Outlast, but um, uh, the Wall Rider... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you scared me. I was not expecting that. Um, <laughs> so the Wall Rider was a um, well was a real figure. It was a real mythological figure in German folklore, um, and uh, he was actually the explanation for people who had s sleep paralysis when they would uh, they would half wake up, but their bodies would be still not free to move, and they thought that they were having demons and things sitting on top of them. Mm -hmm. And that demon is called the Wall Rider. And that demon was the Wall Rider. I think in, in English folklore we had the um, we had hags and stuff. Old hag. Old hags. Nana hag. Nana hag. Nana hag. Nana hag. Not to be confused with haggis. <laughs> Definitely don't confuse it with haggis. You know they sell haggis in like Waitrose and stuff. Yeah, I, I buy it. <laughs> have you have you tried it? Is it like, it's really is nice. it like regular haggis? Because uh, I thought like you you want a fresh haggis. Uh, <laughs> I, I really enjoy it. I mean, he wants some haggis. Okay. Hello. Well, no, he hasn't got a mouth. So I don't know what he's doing. There. Oh, oh, this is your favourite bit. Yeah. I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. You <laughs> just enjoy the show. You enjoy the show while I set new records for heart rate. <laughs> Remember. I'm gonna have to ah, there's another diving accident. Kids, use supervision. And use an actual diving board. <laughs> use a diving board. And yeah. Make sure there isn't a pole in the way. <laughs> and and then use a uh, use an actual pool instead of a, just a flooded basement. Someone gave me the statistic that 65% of YouTube videos are people falling off diving boards. What? Hmm. I think that's true actually. And the other four I've never seen one YouTube video. And the other thirty five percent are cats. Not falling off diving boards. Well, just cats I could just about believe. <laughs> but um, diving boards I find hard. I should I think memory serves me we have to go down here? No, your memory is failed you. Yes. Charming. <laughs> oh well. You're on the other end of this now because you're going to be left with no batteries. <laughs> Hello, Chris. <laughs> I see you adjusting your headphones so you can hear him. Exactly. Do you think I should talk over this so you can't hear him? Where the bollocks are you? No, oh. no, no, you have to go get that you have to go that way. I'm quite pleased, as long as I can keep him in sight. Okay, I have lost him. <laughs> as long as I can keep him in sight. And well at least I know he's off to the left somewhere. No, he's behind me. Just jump. <laughs> 
totally fine. Yeah. 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 You probably broke the record in the quickest time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Any batteries? No. <laughs> you can still hear him roaming around yeah. down there. <laughs> Yeah! Ow. Get back! <laughs> Why did you do that? Well, it, it took us a while to figure it out, but he just, that's just what he does. He hits you once and then he runs away. Yeah, so you're meant to hide. Well, I wasn't gonna. <laughs> Even if I can't fight, I'm standing up to these bullies. Except Walker. Except Walker, yeah, no one stands up to Walker. And, and the Dong Dong twins. And the Dong Dong twins, yeah. Well, um, I tend to draw different rules with people with, you know, Superpowers. Superpowers and, and, machetes. and machetes, yeah, exactly. Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. Can I get over there? No. Yeah, so he hits you once and then he just runs off. There was just there was just a guy walking in front of us. Um, oh no. What is Okay. Have we gone backwards? Or am I just getting to No. We haven't gone backwards. Okay. No, we're not. Ah. Oh, note. We're general. Uh, yeah, yeah, note. I thought the sewer couldn't smell any worse. Hundreds of bodies crammed into a room. Thousands of flies. Is this the priest's way out? Right. Actually, we... Luckily, we haven't played far enough to know. Yeah, true. The ground floor. Okay. Uh, oh, there's no. a new mechanic for us. Yeah. This is very, very cool, but also very unpleasant. Mm -hmm. This new mechanic. You can push things out of the way and push them in front of doors. Hello. Is that Arnold? <laughs> it looks <laughs> like him, doesn't it? It's the same model, I guess. Arnold's twin. Barnold. Oh. Anything in here? Uh, hopefully a battery. Yeah, hopefully. Don't waste the battery to look at the batteries, though. What? That's... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, see? You can't push in front of the door, you can't get it. Battery there. No, I'm just looking for it. There you go. This is your favourite piece of the game. This is just the f my favourite bit of the game. Like you got it on the fourth <laughs> go, though, didn't you? <laughs> so. No, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, my favourite guy. Yeah, okay, now we're being we're being introduced to a new Oh yeah. A new character. 
Well, we've, we've had mention of him earlier. But, Rick Traeger. Uh, yeah. This patient also, unfortunately, didn't make it. I tried my best, but I'm just a doctor, not a miracle worker. And I'm pretty new to this whole doctor thing. <laughs> so I'm still working out all the kinks. Anywho, <laughs> somebody's got to cut the fat from this Project Wall Rider disaster. We've been bleeding money ever since this thing went tits up on account of that Billy kid. Do you know who Billy is? No, we haven't come across Billy yet. But I've managed to slim back personnel by more than 80 people, which means my leg is really hurting. Which means <laughs> short-term savings in salary and long-term saving in pension and healthcare costs. And I've been figuring out a lot about biology. I was on the fence about it before, but now I can say with absolute certainty that a person can't live without his kidneys. You learn something new every day. How true. Um, if you quickly look at the body next to us, yeah, yeah, you'll see what you'll see. Um, well, you'll be able to see what Puss is doing to me right now, which is taking my leg, <laughs> and scratching it off. <laughs> so that's going to be me in about five yeah, minutes. I don't think uh, Richard Traeger is a very skilled doctor. Yeah, it just... Oh. Uh, um, yeah, so looking through some of the old videos, Richard Traeger is... Um, I think he's he's one of the CEOs, or he, he's one of the executives. You need to open that. There we go! Oh, 
Oh, not. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, wrong way. No, the no. right way. Right way, okay. You can't hide! Okay, that's not the right way. Uh, let's jump over that. I say, I want my money back. Put <laughs> down there. You're not one of them, are you? Quick, get in the dumb waiter if you want to live. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, there we go. Safety. <sighs> there You're the chase here, buddy. Oh, I'm not. My favorite guy in the whole world. Hello, Puss. Oh, I think he's glitched. Well, you're then you look. A little cardio look. wouldn't kill you. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Arms and legs inside the car at all times. <laughs> Yeah, this man is not nice. He's my favourite character. This is Dr. Richard Traeger. Well, <laughs> Dr. Quotation Marks. Yeah, he is. You know, I love the mountain air up here at night. You, you want to head out and take a stroll? <laughs> Go ahead, I'll wait here. Go on, run free. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. No? All right. Nose to the grindstone, I like that. Okay then, right this way. He is not a nice man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm putting that tongue to any use anyway. Truth be told, I was just tired of looking at my own stance. Here we are then. Uh, thanks so much for coming by. We'll begin your consultation in a moment. We'll just need a second to wash up and, uh, oh, movies. And it'll give us a chance to talk. This is definitely not hygienic. Yeah. <laughs> Great butt. Badass. <laughs> you know, I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know, I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all his holier-than-thou Bible thumping. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. Hey, he's he's told him. Maybe he'll get scared. He does like to turn to God as anything else. And God died with the gold scrap. We're on to a more concrete faith now. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all the money's gone? Money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for. To make you believe. You paying attention? Don't pass that on me. There's so much for you to absorb. Ow. There. You're better, right? You understand how we cheat here? We made the consumer into the means of production. This thing is gonna sell itself! Okay, I think that's um, a really good place to have a switcheroo. Okay. Oh, no, not really. Okay, I'll just. Dis I'll just escape. Oh! <laughs> Houdini here! That's a terrible, terrible restraint. Well done. Alright. <laughs> 
Must remember the camera. <laughs> 